everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be trying out crochet. So with my channel, I am mostly an artist, although I do dabble in some other creative endeavors and I have done a little bit of fiber arts before. I've done some cross stitch and a little bit of needle felting and stuff like that. But this time I want to try some crochet and I'm very excited about it. Now I've done a little bit of knitting here and there growing up so I feel like I do know a little bit about crochet especially since my sister and my mum have done crochet before and I've seen what they have done but I actually technically haven't really learned to crochet at all yet and here is me trying it out. So I bought a couple books as you could see one of them is like a A to Z crochet book it basically shows you how to do a whole bunch of stitches from the beginning of learning if that makes sense and the other book I got is more like a, a granny square pattern kind of book so once you sort of get the basics and know what you're doing a little bit you can learn how to make certain squares and stuff in uh, that book. So I'll be leaving that book for a future video and uh, in this book as you can see I'm just teaching myself basically the beginning stages of crochet. So I've been doing a few different stitches as you can hear just following through the book and uh, just getting like a rough handle on how the whole thing actually works. It actually took me a little bit to sort of catch on because being more of a knitter growing up I really didn't understand how you could make something just with one hook or needle or whatever but once I realized you basically just make a whole bunch of different loops and uh, different yarn overs as they're called and like do different things you end up with different stitches you basically just combine them into one big thing if that makes sense at all. I don't know if I actually made sense or uh, if you guys are as lost as I am, but hey, I'm making a thing. So of course, in my typical fashion myself, I decided I wanted to get into crochet and I immediately went and bought a whole bunch of different supplies. As you can see in the start of the video, I really didn't want to make a certain project and realize oh I need a certain type of hook for this or a certain type of yarn or something you know so I went out and I bought a bunch of different hooks a few different sets as you can see there's this metal I think it's aluminium and it's colored and very pretty and uh, this set uh, mainly has a lot of like it's like in between sizes if that makes sense I think they're like American type of ones because I'm actually holding them here as you can, as, uh, you can probably hear I have like it's like 4.25 and like 3.75 millimeter size hooks and then I was like you know I kind of want some ones that are like you know, four mil, five mil, etc. So I bought more <laughs> of those two and uh, I kind of got excited, you know. I bought a bunch of different yarns as well, uh, a bunch of different colors, which then I came back home with and was like, what am I going to do with these colors? Because they were very like bright and I had to sort of think of a, a project that I was going to do with them. <laughs> As you can see here, I'm just doing some little tests uh, and just making a few stitches. So the bottom row is single crochet and then double crochet and then like half double and then like a uh, treble crochet. Now it's a little bit confusing for me because my book I've got is it has the UK slash Australian terms for different stitches and those terms are actually different to the American terms for like stitches if that makes sense so in the English terms we have like half treble and then in the American term that same stitch is called a half double so that kind of confused me a little bit too especially looking up patterns online and I kind of had to learn the lingo a bit <laughs> So if you see me saying uh, this stitch is this and it's not, you know, if you know how to crochet and you're like, that's not that, it's probably like the Australian version or something like that.
in this little test swatch thing I'm actually doing in the video as you can see I'm not making anything in particular I'm pretty much just going through this book and picking a bunch of stitches to try and practice with and uh, learn the ropes <laughs> so I changed the color a few bit as you can see there we've got like a multicolor blue and yellow and then I tried some like increasing and decreasing which basically just makes the thing bigger and smaller so you can get certain shapes and then I also tried uh, some popcorn stitches which were really fun to make and they kind of actually remind me of you know there's like poppet fidget things they kind of remind me of that <laughs> but yeah here is the result of that little first swatch thing of me learning and honestly I think it's not too bad Here is just a little bit more look at that book. I'm gonna learn so much from this book, <laughs> but now I really want to go in and make something for this video because I like to make things and I want to show off my new crochet skills that I have been developing. So I went online and I tried to find some cool nerdy stuff that I could crochet and I found this pattern on a website called Ravelry which is really cool it just like a lot of people upload patterns and some of them are free and some you can buy and you can like save patterns and stuff it's pretty cool actually um, and I found a magic harp. A hat and I was so excited when I saw this I was like yes I want to make this this is the perfect thing for a video because I love drawing Pokemon and you guys know I love Pokemon and um, I like making nerdy stuff and uh, yeah Magic Cup would be super cool and honestly selfishly I just really wanted the hat myself I wanted to wear it I think it was just so cool so I'm making it so I started off and uh, this pattern it's basically working from the bottom up so the starting stitches are the sort of bottom brim part of the hat and then it's going to go up to the tip of the hat, uh, the beanie or whatever you're going to call it. And I started off with the pink because that's what it said to do. And you basically just do a whole bunch of um, double crochets or treble. I can't remember because, you know, UK and uh American terms they confuse me because I keep switching between them um, but you just do a bunch of stitches in a certain amount and then fold that over and that one was a little bit difficult for me because I had to sort of push the crochet hook through two layers of stitches and then crochet around that with this orange yarn here to start off the body of the fish or I guess the face of the fish that sort of looped over part is going to work as the bottom part of a beanie that you would fold up, if that makes sense. And it's gonna look like the Magic Carp's lips. And I'm sorry if the colors aren't really perfect in this video at the moment. The lips are like a nice light pink color and the um, orange yarn is like a bright orange color. But for some reason, my camera settings were having, well, my camera was having issues with like recording the brightness of the orange and um, it kind of made it look red and I had to sort of edit it back and I don't know, it was a whole ordeal, but I think I sort of edited it to look a bit better but uh, it's not gonna be perfectly accurate, but that's okay. I'll post some shots at the end with more accurate colors, but I'm rambling on. <laughs> I should be talking about what I'm doing in the video right now. <laughs> Once I got a certain amount of rows in the orange, the pattern told me to do some um, more stitches in like that folded over fashion, <laughs> similar to the uh, front. And um, that's for like the gill part of Magic Cup. And then after that, it got me to do almost like a fish scale sort of shaped stitch, which honestly just looks so satisfying uh, when it's all put together. I had a little bit of issues getting the thing to like be reduced enough to make the right shape in the back end. So I had to undo a couple rows and then redo it. But uh, now it looks pretty good and um, it's starting to look a lot like a beanie. <laughs> mm. 
Now I have to just uh, crochet some little pieces that we're going to sew onto the Magic Cup. And I'm starting off with the fins here. And um, honestly, this looks so cool because I did like a bunch of stitches and then it told me to do taller stitches and then turn the piece and then work back into like shorter stitches to make it like a, a fin shape. <laughs> and it's so cool and I made two of them because that's what it said to do and uh, these are going to get sewed on to the magic carpet at the end and now we're making some eyeballs and I'm just doing like a circle this is really fun to do because you basically just make like what's called a magic ring and um basically just crochet in a spiral and that makes a big circle and then I made another little circle ring um, just with a little bit of black and then tied it off and that's going to be the pupil for the eye. And I think that this style works amazingly for Magic Cup because he has such cartoony, you know, circle dot eyes <laughs> um, that it looks almost perfect, honestly. <laughs> and then, yeah, I made two of these as well for, uh, you know, each side of the Magic Cup. Anyways, we're moving on and we're making some of the other fins of this magic cup here. And um, you know, like the yellow fins that look like a crown and little spiky parts at the bottom. And um, these were interesting because I had to make like four different parts of like little triangly, like circle-y bits and then crochet them together and then like crochet around that. And uh, this part was really interesting because I had to sort of like make it 3D, which is really fun because uh, it kind of gives me a hint to what it's going to be like making a plushie. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then I had to make another one which was similar to that piece, except it was three pieces and one of them was like bigger than the other, uh, the other two. And that was going to be like the sort of crowny kind of part of the fins. <laughs> and um, yeah, just crocheted that up same way that I did the first orange piece and um, it turned out really cool. Now these uh, yellow pieces are actually a bit thicker than the other two parts, like the other fins. And I think that's actually gonna work in our favor because they kind of need to be like, like 3D and stick up. <laughs> so I think that's gonna look cool. And uh, the next part, this, uh, this thing told me to get a thing called a knitting bee. And it basically makes like this cable stuff out of the yarn. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go all in and I'm going to do what it says because I think it's going to turn out really well in the end. <laughs> and this thing had its own sort of challenges. I had to like loop the yarn around and then like put the loops over loops and then pull it through. And eventually you get this like rope. And honestly, this was really satisfying because the rope made from this thing is like light and squishy and bouncy and it just has like the coolest texture. It's really fun. <laughs> so I made a whole bunch of that and then I chopped it in half basically and uh, stitched it up so that we had the two little noodly parts for uh, Magic Cup. I think they're called barbells. I think that's what the pattern called them, but I uh, don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. Now is time to put the whole piece together and this part I was so excited for but I was also a little bit nervous because we have the two halves of Magic Cup and I have to basically sew the eyes and the fins and the noodly parts into uh, you know the beanie and I really wanted to make sure that they were both the same on both sides because uh, you know, I didn't want it to look too derpy. I didn't want it to look like its eyes were wrong. <laughs> Magic Cup is already derpy enough and I don't want to ruin it by making it super derpy. But anyways, we're just sewing on these pieces here and we also have a tail piece which I crocheted off screen because honestly, that thing took me so long. It was all single crochets pretty much and I had to make this like weird ass shape and I had to undo a bunch of stitches because I did it wrong. And then it was like a bit wacky. And then I ended up getting it there, <laughs> but I didn't end up filming that, but it's okay because if you guys want to know how to fully make this thing, I'll leave a link in the description for the pattern so you guys can do it too. It's so cool. And uh, here I am just sewing on the 
little noodly parts and we're pretty much done and here is the final results and I actually really wanted to take this beanie out uh, to somewhere where there was water and wear it because I just think it looks so cool and magic cup needs to be near some water and uh, yeah I had so much fun trying this out and honestly I'm having a lot of fun with crochet I think I'm falling in love with it as a hobby so definitely look out for more content in the future for crochet I hope you guys enjoy this because I really do <laughs> I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna like move away from art videos though I'm always going to be doing art videos too but uh, I think this one is really fun so anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video please hit that like and subscribe and comment below what you think of my magic harp hat I love it so much and it's honestly really comfortable to wear hope you're having a lovely day please stay safe out there and I'll share see you in my next video. Bye everyone.